There we are. <clears throat> dee, dee, dee. My computer is on such a go slow right now. My internet's not great either, so this could be an interesting live stream. Hi, Lynn. <laughs> it's literally just come up for me, the chat. Right, I'm in live chat. <laughs> I am indeed. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, hopefully that's all sorted. Oh my goodness. The computer just decided that it didn't want to play nice tonight. When I put it to sleep, usually um, when I boot it up, everything just comes on fine, like the monitor and everything. But sometimes if the mouse gets knocked and it gets woken up, early I guess you'd say um, and the monitor's not switched on and it's on uh, orange light instead of blue light for some reason the computer won't communicate with the monitor so then I have to do like a hard reset on the system <laughs> and then when you do a hard reset on your computer it takes like ages to boot up again so but we're here <laughs> I managed it. <clears throat> I've come on a little bit earlier tonight because these pictures are quite small. I'm going to see if we can sort of aim to do around an hour live stream rather than a two hour live stream because we have to be up in the morning because we have someone coming to look at our toilet in the bathroom again for the 15 millionth time. So anyway <laughs> welcome to the live stream everyone today we're going to be working in matchstick mouse a christmas coloring book by morgan o'brien um as it says in the description i found this whilst flipping through um amazon i do all different kinds of weird stuff on amazon every single day um and i think i found this by searching like newest arrivals or something like that and it came up and there was this one and also two others hi Audrey how are you thank you for joining <laughs> um, I have linked all three of these books that are available in the description below and the one that we're working on tonight I've pinned up above so you can see it should you wish to check them out um at the time of me buying this not one person on youtube had um done a flip through or anything of it and i did promise to get a flip through up today but as i mentioned in last night's live stream i'm still not on medication because my doctors sent me the wrong ones so my stomach's a bit uh, so, you're lucky you have me this evening. <laughs> Which book arrived, Audrey? Which one did you order, my lovely? So, I'm going to jump straight into doing the flip through of this. This hasn't been sent to me for review. I purchased this with my own money and I have every intention on purchasing the other two books in this series with my own money also. So we get into it and we have our This Book Belongs To page. Just making sure I'm in frame. From what I can see I am. Then we have our title page. And we get straight into the images. <gasps> You've ordered this one. Yay! Oh, awesome, Audrey. Are you going to be colouring in it this evening? Oh, I'm so happy. Isn't it adorable? So here we are getting into our images. They are single sided 
um, they're white backed so they're not going to hide any bleed through. Oh awesome, I'm so glad. <laughs> so if you're using alcohol markers or anything do make sure you put um, a blotter page behind so you don't ruin the other images, you know standard stuff. But these images they're so cute and compact and they're all in their own little circles so they're really not going to take that long to colour um, and like I said there is two other books in this series there's an autumn one and a Halloween one that I have linked below so I haven't spun my wheel today so I don't know what um, prompt I'm on <clears throat> or what to do these are just so cute. Aww. What would you like me to use to colour? I have set aside my Arteza brush markers, but um, I'm open to using anything. The only thing I wish with this picture is that the candy cane, the red parts, weren't blacked out. Um, I did say to Steve about colouring the white parts in red and then whiting out the black parts so I could still make it look like a candy cane. Having a snowball fight. This little guy here just reminds me of Earthworm Jim a little bit. <laughs> Is that our cover page? No, our cover page is the mouse cooking. So, um, do make sure to go and give Morgan O'Brien a follow on Instagram. He doesn't have that many followers, which is quite shocking because he's done um, artwork for Marvel comics and all sorts. He's a really good artist. And the way he, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't have a drink. The way he draws these is he has these cute little felt mice um, little figures. And I think he uses those as inspiration. <laughs> Doing some wrapping. They're just too cute. Whoops. Aww. Nice and cosy in his little armchair with a cup of hot cocoa or tea or something. Do stay safe up there in Scotland, Audrey. Is this storm worse than Arwen or not as bad or just as bad? Oh, so cute. The little cookies. Tossing a pancake. So now I've hoped, now I've like hauled this book and done a flip through, I really would love to see YouTube flooded with people buying this book because it is too cute. So that is all of our images and then at the back we just have the printed in Great Britain by Amazon because it's on Create Space paper. So that is our flip through. Um, Audrey, do you have any preference as to what markers I use? Or would you like me to use pencil? Um, I'm pretty much open to anything. Uh, 
uh, let's see, do I have the uh, Tiny Decisions app on my phone? No, I don't. App Store. I wonder if I install it. 2,000 folks have no power again. Jeez. Some of them are still off from the last storm, aren't they? Uh, tiny decisions. So basically, what I'm doing is trying to log into the app that I have on my iPad. Duh, duh, duh. I'm not sure if I can do that. I don't think you can actually like log into this app. Hmm. If it glitches, please note that I will be back. I'm just gonna spin my wheel quickly and I'm hoping it's not gonna like affect the live stream too much. It's landed on Christmas cake. So we can either find a picture of a cake Okay, which pencils, Audrey? I have Polychromo, Sprout Funa Squares, um, Arteza Watercolours, Arteza Normal. Um, what else do I have? Gosh, uh, Artina. So this one, you could be baking a Christmas pudding. Do you have a a particular page you like, Audrey? Lynn saying cookies page. <laughs> That's not my prompt, Miss Lynn. This one he could he could be making a, a Christmas pudding as well. Lynn's saying this one. <laughs> what do you think to do in this page? Let's bring the camera down. Put our flash on for better light. Okay. I will just wait to hear from Miss Audrey about what she would like me to use. So how has everyone's day been? What have you all been up to? Um, tomorrow night is, what's tomorrow? It's today Tuesday, I think it is, isn't it? Hi Sam, welcome, welcome. Did you order this book as well, hon? I can't remember. Um, I also have Crayola Super Tips, if you have those, um, Audrey. I could base in Crayola Super Tip and then do some shading over the top. Tuesday today so do, do, do. tomorrow night I'm aiming to get my completed pages video up so I won't be streaming tomorrow evening and then Thursday evening is when mini Rach usually live streams and I like watching mini so I'll be in her live stream so I'll aim to be back with you guys on Friday evening if that's okay and we will be working in Enchanted Christmas because I'm dying to paint in this book as I showed you last night. So, yeah.
And then Saturday evening, we will probably be working in Camellia Angel Covers 50 Christmas Miniatures. So, yes. Are you still with us, Audrey? Oh, yes. It's your birthday. <laughs> your present is on the way. It should be with you tomorrow. I'm hoping it gets there okay. I won't be on Friday, Saturday and Sunday as my son's here. That's fine. You don't have Crayola Super Tips. I'm looking at my Artie's Expert 120 count. Okay, that's absolutely fine. Um, let's see. Hubby has the watercolour version but they're exactly the same colours so are you okay if I use those? So here's the 120 count and I'll probably just use them as pencil anyway um, I may or may not activate them because this paper's quite thin And even though I'm using pencil, I'm still going to put a blot page underneath just to give it a bit of um, sturdiness. Okay. So I think we'll start with the reef. Oh, did I not put Steve's pencils back in here the other day when I was using them? Oops. What was I using these on, Miss Lynn? I was using these on... Oh, my drum and banger. I've got to keep those out. I haven't finished with those yet. <laughs> okay, greens. Greens. We are going to use... Forest. I remember my combinations that I use with these now. Forest, matcha, and lime. Oh, don't be silly, it's your birthday. Of course, I'm sending you a present. <coughs> those markers back and before we start as promised I did finish our page that we started last night so I will quickly show you that so here it is I did the silver on the sleigh as I said I was gonna and then I also used some pearl 3d effects on the trees and some glitter I used this Nouveau Glitter Drops on here and I also use some of my metallic paint to do the roofs of the houses before I put the glitter on top. So that was yesterday's page completed. Okay, I'm going to start with my forest green and we're going to do the reef. So Sam, it sounds like you've had a busy day today. So all I'm going to do is outline around the edge with the darkest shade. Well, this has thrown me out using my middle colour is matcha matcha green A006 I hope that helps and then the lightest is the lime which is A101 let's bring you in a bit Oh, 
wonder whether Rebecca's in here because I know Rebecca wanted to see this live stream as well. I have come on earlier which may have thrown her. I was just aiming to uh, be done a little earlier this evening. Like I said, we've got the engineer coming out for the toilet, which is currently blocked. Nothing to do with the reason why he's coming out. That's just something that's happened tonight. Just to, you know, add to the problems we already have with this stupid toilet. One day they may replace it. We can live in hope. You should have matcha as well, Audrey. It's the 120 set. If, if you've got the 120 set, hun, you should have matcha. Because the, the watercolours are exactly the same colours as the um, the normal set. I've got the matcher in my 72 set as well. Yeah. It's just what I was saying, Lynn. <laughs> you beat me to it. It's one of my most used colours. <laughs> well, all three of these are in my uh, 72 set. Yay! Okay. So that's the outline done of our forest green. Like so. We'll also use the same combination for the holly. Just going to sharpen it quickly because it's got a rounded end and I can't work with a blunt end. That's so much better. So I ordered my hubby's main Christmas present today. I'm not going to say what it is because he's still awake in the bedroom so he'll probably hear me. But yep, I ordered his main present today. 
and a couple of other bits to go with it. Yeah, I know, you have to buy them in sets of three, don't you? And it's a pain in the butt, because, I mean, although I use this colour a lot, I still don't really want three. I suppose with me and Steve, it's not too bad, because like I'd have a spare, he'd have a spare, and then we'd have a spare for the spare. <laughs> but, yeah. I wish they... um did them open stock properly um, hubby's treated himself tonight to a set of 120 watercolour pencils even though he's already treated himself to the full set of ink tents with his Christmas money <laughs> um, I ordered I'm using the matcha now to bring the colour into the centre a bit more but not all the way um, yeah I bought a set of 160 Artina pencils which I am looking to use on here one day on a picture um, and they do a 120 set of Artina watercolour pencils for fifteen ninety nine for 120 so he was like oh can you order those with my Christmas money please I was like are you sure and he was like yep I was like okay then that's what you'd like and I'm off screen <laughs> where was my ad my uh mod to tell me I was off screen may activate these just to see how they work on this paper it's it's pretty thin paper so I'm sure it will buckle to some extent but we'll have a play and see what happens Sam, are you still here? I can't remember whether you answered the question about whether you'd bought this book or not. Okay, we'll go back over to our holly. Same again, just bring that colour into the centre a bit more and I am going over the forest green as well just to sort of burnish that into the paper It'll be okay in regards to like not bleeding but it's very quite thin paper weight so I kind of cry let out a little cry inside if my uh, paper buckles too much <laughs> it's John Sam left you in a bag well that was nice of you Sam Hi John, another victory for Liverpool tonight and another record broken. Salah got us some more points, woot woot. So 
So now I'm going in with the lime. <laughs> and come over to my wreath. Again, go over everything I've coloured and just bring that colour into the centre. There we go. <laughs> right, if I'm doing this, I need my cloth, so one second. And by cloth, I mean rag. <laughs> there we go. Yep, she don't love you anymore. She left you talking to yourself. Well, that's just not good enough. I tell her I've bought her a, a birthday present and then she shoves me in a bag. Now, Audrey, depending on what kind of um, lead they put in your Arteza pencils, you may actually be able to do this with your normal pencils because my normal Arteza pencils can actually be activated with water as well, even though they're not meant to. There was a big hoo-ha on, on YouTube about it. And everyone was like, oh, I'm never buying for Marteza again, blah, 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 drama. <laughs> it's like, why are you complaining? You've got two things in one. Just deal with it. <laughs> there we go. That's that activated. In all fairness, I left you talking to yourself on the sofa. I had to get sooks from the garden. Well, I may as well just be talking to myself then. <laughs> I was turning my iPad on up here as phone is dying. Okay, I'll let you off. <laughs> you like how men sort of neglect the real reason why us women do things. <laughs> Okay, so that's our pencils activated. Hi, Caitlin. Welcome, welcome. How are you? Thank you so much for joining. It's, so, yep, yeah, we do have some buckling there. I'm also going to use the same pencils just to do the the heads on the carrot just so you know Caitlin we are currently colouring this cute little image from Matchstick Mouse A Christmas Colouring Book 
I have linked it up above and down below should you wish to check it out. To be fair, she's trying to sort Brat Boy out. He's in a mood tonight. Is he overtired? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you brat boy, John. <laughs> okay. So that is our carrot tops coloured as well. Now we'll choose some browns for the door. Let's put these ones away, or so the other half will have a go at me. So that one was in there. Matcha was there. And mine was there. Okay, browns. Raw umber, mm. really need my swatch sheet of these out. Yeah, I'm really good, thank you, Caitlin. And isn't it cute? It's so adorable. I'm just gonna pull up, um my Arteza colour combinations sheet because I hate working without like a, a sheet so I'm going to pull up my one on the computer instead Okay, that one's actually quite nice. Coyote Cocoa Espresso Dark Chocolate. So, do we want to go for a light wooden door or a dark wooden door? We've got two choices. I'll let you guys choose. Oh, bless him. I used to do that. Well, I, sp I still do. <laughs> like, now I don't want to go to sleep. How am I cheating? I'm using a colour guide. I always do that. <laughs> it's not cheating. It's being resourceful. A light, a light wooden door, a dark wooden door. Audrey, what do you say? A light wooden door. Light it is. Sorry, Sam. <laughs> okay, so we are going to choose Camel. Got to find them all now because he does not keep his pencils in order like I do. Um, yellow ochre, turmeric. and ivory can't say as i've used this combination before but it looks nice 
Where's his ivory? Hmm. Steve, where is your ivory, mate? Lemon, jasmine, sapphire. Where is his ivory? Honey, ginger. Huh. Okay, he doesn't have ivory. Let me check the 72 sex. I'm pretty sure it's in there as well. these a sharpen so camel is our darkest then yellow ochre then turmeric Okay, let's come back to chat. Um, maybe, yeah. Hang on, A seven A O seven five. Let's have a look. Yes, so it's called Jasmine Yellow. Thank you, Lynn. I'll use the watercolour one. Thank you for putting that up as well. I really appreciate it. How do you know if a pencil reacts? So let me show you, Miss Audrey. I will use one of Steve's normal Arteza pencils in the colour magenta and grab this scratch piece of cardstock colour 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 fade it out like so Let's bring you in, grab the water brush, which is taking a walk, really. Oh. There it is. Now, I don't know whether his, he got his ones later than me, so I don't know whether his um, activate with water or not, but we'll find out. There you go, look. You see me dragging that out? Ta da! Watercolours. Magical. <laughs> and you can really drag it out and keep going and going and going. like so hey miss betty <laughs> how are you let's just dry that they're not water reactive so you have must have the newer ones then because they did um bring out a new formula for them Okay, so did you get the um, colours, Audrey, that I'm using? I think Lynn did pop them up, up above for you. 
How are, how are you, Miss Betty? So using my camel brown first, which is our darkest. Again, starting around the outside. Bringing that colour in and also go darker along the lines of the wood grain and around the edge of the bow. You've been resting a lot, that's good. I'm hoping you're okay, hon. Take it easy. Have you bought any new goodies lately whilst you've been on your travels? I was just telling everyone that um, Steve, with his Christmas money from my mum, has bought the 72 set of... Um, ink tents pencils <laughs> and today he's just bought the 120 set of Artina watercolour pencils so looking at this picture that looks like it's meant to be part of the bow um, maybe it's just a string actually so I will bring this dark close to the mouse just making sure I go dark against these wood grain pieces So what part of the world are you in at the moment, um, Miss Betty? What part of America are you in? Your back hurts. I have Zoe, lots of goodies. Ken has spoiled me. Oh, I'm glad. <laughs> well done, Mr. Ken. We'll have to do a um, video chat and you can show me all your new goodies. Have you had them, I, I'm assuming you've had them delivered to home? Unless you can get them delivered to one of the bases. I'm not sure how you go about ordering things on the move. Uh, my back hurts a lot tonight, but wanted all shopping done before my birthday, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I've mainly, for Steve, got stocking fillers to do now. And then he's pretty much all done. Um, we've got my mum and dad and his mum and dad still to buy for. And then couple of other odd gifts here and there to give out so we're getting there with it just doing bits and bobs as and when we can afford to
I'm also going to go dark under the bottom of the door handle just because there will be like a shadow cast there like so you went to Blix as in like Dick Blick is it called? I bet you had a whale of a time in there. <laughs> I'm very jealous. So now going in with my yellow ochre. I'm going to go over what we've just done and bring it in slightly. Rebecca I was going live at 11 hun I'm sorry I scheduled a bit earlier um, as I wanted to finish a little bit earlier tonight because we have to get up early in the morning so I'm really sorry about that hun You've not, not missed much though. I've done the flip through of the book. Um, but I know that you bought this book, if I remember rightly. So you didn't need to see the flip through anyway, as you already have it. <laughs> and we are using Arteza watercolour pencils. And Audrey is using normal Arteza pencils. John just said, Zoe's birthday is when you only just got Christmas presents. Ha ha. My birthday is January 15th. Thank you very much. It is two weeks after New Year's Day to the day. So whatever day New Year's Day falls on is when my birthday falls. And like Sam, it sucks <laughs> having a birthday so close to Christmas because everyone's like, here's your birthday present and your Christmas present all in one. Aren't you lucky? <laughs> <laughs> he said too soon, lol. I agree, it is too soon. But, John, FYI... I was actually meant to be born on New Year's Day. Oh, Audrey, that sucks too. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's take that um, light off because it's a bit bright. So we have done our camel and yellow ochre. Now going on to the turmeric. Yeah, I was actually meant to be born on New Year's Day, but I was lazy. I mean, nothing's changed there. I still am lazy. I can't see without that light, unfortunately. Um, and I held on for two weeks. So I was two, two weeks past my due date. Mum said she had a Chinese before having me, so that must be why I like Chinese so much. It's like, no, I'm not lucky. Exactly, Sam. It's like, no, I'm really not lucky. <laughs>
with the page that I'm aiming to do, well, if you guys are not going to be here Friday or Saturday, is there much point in me streaming? <laughs> I want to stream where, like, you're all here together so we can all chat. Um, do, 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 do. Are you all free on Sunday evening? Um, I'm just going to sharpen this yellow, jasmine yellow. If you are all free on Sunday evening, I will stream then, which gives me like a nice few days to get some of the videos out that I need to. So I'm just going to go over everything with coloured and like burnish it in, smush it all together. If you think that it's too light, let me know and we'll add a slightly darker tone to some of it, but I think it looks cute. I am, I am, lol. <laughs> I'm available any night, I think so. Miss Lynn, are you available Sunday night? Oh no, you said you, hang on, let me scroll back up. You said Sunday was a no as well, didn't you? Dee dee dee. I'm just trying to find where Lynn said what days she was free. I won't be free on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Will you be free Sunday evening? Mark goes home late Sunday afternoon. Depends on how knackered I'll be. Okay. So would Monday evening be better for everyone? I'll turn that flash off and then you can see what the door looks like. There we go. That is our door done. I'm just going to activate that as well. Hey mad lads, you alright mate? How you doing? How's it going? Bet it's blooming cold in Skeggy, innit? Okay, I'm just going to activate this. Good, good, good. Glad to hear. You got yourself another job yet, mate? Or are you still a lad of leisure? <laughs> oh, by the way, did you get my message on one of your um i think it was on your live stream of the christmas lights maybe that someone's copying your youtube name and subscribing to all your uh subscribers <laughs> wanted to make you aware because when it flashed up i was like hang on a minute he's already subscribed to me What's going on here? So then I looked and it was like two subscribers or something. So I'm like, yep, that's not you. Yeah, I, I bet it's even colder like where you are than, than what it is here because we're sort of inland. 
safe to say I have no desire to come to Skegness at this time of year. <laughs> Yeah, no worries, mate. Um, I didn't know whether you could, like, report it to YouTube or anything for, like, copying your name, so to speak. Right, so that is our door done. Let's put those pencils away. Not sure if I'm putting these back in the right places. I'm sure my other half will have a go at me if I haven't. <laughs> no idea where this one goes. Let's put turmeric up there. Doesn't look right, but... Hey ho. No, I can imagine Audrey. <laughs> okay, let's pick some reds for the bow and the baubles. And we'll also do the berries on the Christmas pudding with it. So let's go garnet. Carmine red and rose red. If Lynn wouldn't mind popping those in chat for me, that would be fun dabby dozy. No way could I sit there and do some colouring for a couple of hours. Oh, mate, you should try. It's really relaxing. <laughs> this, I mean, this kind of colouring that I'm doing at the minute, this is kind of like just for fun. But, um, where's my other one I'm working on? Doo -doo -doo. Here it is. I need to do another live stream where I come back to this one. We started doing this on a live stream not long ago. So, yeah. Need to come back to that one. Say them again. Al was talking to me. Okay. Garnet red. Carmine red and rose red. So we'll start with our garnet. It's really therapeutic. <laughs> oh, thank you, Caitlin. We started that one when we was doing the swatching and colouring for the Black Widow Dragon set. So I need to do another live stream and come back to it. Ah, oh, cheers. Ah, <laughs> oh, you never know, you should try. My other half used to say the same thing and now he colours as well. Just got to find the right sort of book and find one that you're like interested in. 
I, I definitely recommend Kirby. Um, de, de, de. Is it Worlds Within Worlds? The Kirby Roseanne's books. Because he kind of like does all the shading, puts the, the lines in and whatnot. And then you just, where is my lion? Am I in the wrong book? Fragile World. These are all by the same artist. So we've got this one. And then I'm looking for my personal favourite one. I've got the Amour Leopard in here as well somewhere. It's hiding though. Ah, there's the Amour Leopard. And Lynn, what one is the lion in with all the leaves? It's not Mythomorphia. I was sure it was Worlds Within Worlds. It is Worlds Within Worlds. There it is. I just flicked by it. There it is. That's my personal favourite one. <laughs> so yeah, you just got to find a book that you're interested in. Thank you. Kirby's a favourite of uh, lots of us colourists in the community. Okay, now going on to Carmine Red. So you all set for Christmas? Oh, thank you, Audrey. There are five of them, mate. Uh, you can get them in the works. The works very often have Kirby's books. Um, if not, you can get them on Amazon. Uh, sometimes they're more expensive than a fiver. But if you keep a lookout for them, um, you should be able to snap them up for a fiver. And the artist is, I'll type it in for you, that's the artist. So if you type that into Amazon or the works online, you'll find his books. And then just get yourself a semi-decent set of pencils, mate, and you're well away. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, Miss Betty. <laughs> yeah, I need to, I need to get back into my Kirby. And then Rose Red. By the way, if any of you, um, you know, you UK people like Skegness, um, head over to Mad Lad's channel and give him a, a subscription. He does like vlogging in in and around Skegness. It's nice to see what's sort of going on in the area when you're not visiting there on holiday and whatnot. Let me know, mate. If if you're on Instagram. Tag me. <laughs> I'm addicted to colouring on Instagram like I am with my YouTube channel. I 
I'll have to tell Steve he popped into my live stream. He's, uh, I think he's in the land of Nod at the minute. <laughs> yes, yeah, so have you done it? Uh, have you done any more of that, Lynn? Because I know you were at your dad's today, but are you working on it now? Yeah, no problem, mate. No problem. Only done the scale so far. That page is a mission and a half, though. Like, when you guys did it the first time, I chickened out. I was like, nah, mate, <laughs> no, I'm not playing that game. What was what book was it in? Imagimorphia. Or is that Worlds Within Worlds as well? I was just like, yeah, I'm not playing that game. <laughs> <clears throat> right, let's do the Santa hat the same colour. Um, Lynn is currently doing the Chinese New Year dragon page in Kirby Roseanne's Rebecca. Um, way back, gosh, at the start of the year, I think it was. Um, Ashley, Steve, and Lynn all did the Kirby Roseanne's Chinese dragon. And I was meant to do it as well, and I chickened out. <laughs> I was like, mm -mm, nope. I'm not that brave. So the fact that Lynn's doing it twice is just like, okay, you're either very brave or just silly. <laughs> Oh, did you start it as well, Sam? I thought it was just um, Steve and Ashley and Lynn and I that was going to do it. Uh-huh, yep. <laughs> Oh, cute. <laughs> okay, let's activate. I can't, did I activate the bow? I don't think I did.
<laughs> Doing the Hannah Lynn Chinese New Year one was enough for me. I think quite a few of us did that page, if I remember rightly. Okay, Audrey, Miss Audrey. What part are we colouring next and what colour would you like it to be? I'm just going to quickly do these berries up here. No, I'm doing them now. No. <laughs> okay. I got it. Don't worry. <laughs> what colour are we doing, Mousy? Are we going to have a darker brown mouse or a grey mouse? What do we think? I wrote it when you were still using the water. Ah, well I only got, just got it so no, it doesn't count. <laughs> Fireplace grey stone, yep. You mean this bit here? Should we do the same grey stone over the door as well? Let's see, what have we got? Let's go onyx black, pewter grey and concrete grey. So that was onyx black, pewter grey and concrete grey. I'll let Miss Lynn type that up. Thank you. Yeah, we can we can do the archway the same. I wouldn't say I'm more experienced than you, Audrey. <laughs> I just colour, hun. I just colour the same as everyone else. It's just some sometimes I use markers, sometimes I use pencil. I've been using markers a lot lately because my hands have been in a um, not wanting to use pencil mood. They've been cramping up on me a lot.
I only did like generic felt tips as a child. I didn't do anything fancy. I've been adult colouring now for three, four years, I think. But like properly, I say properly, properly concentrating kind of thing on it. Or proper into the hobby for two years. Um, the top of the fireplace, these are bricks. I would say this is maybe wood. Um, because it's got like the wood grain in, like the door. So should we do that a different colour, maybe like a dark brown? We can do this part of the fireplace here. Um, because that would probably be stone as well. Oh, <laughs> we all start somewhere, Audrey. Now I'm using pewter grey. And I'm kind of working in a circular motion. Bringing the light into the centre. Just to give the rocks around the fireplace like a rounded um, feel, I guess. <laughs> For want of better terminology. <laughs> I'm doing a Carla Magana. Just sent a pic in the group. Wanted something quick and fun after the read to Berman page. Let's have a look. Where's my phone? Do you mind if I share it with the stream, Rebecca? Ooh, I'm kind of getting Jessica Rabbit vibes from that. You'll have to let me know if I'm allowed to share it with the live stream or not. Sure, wicked. What's not fair, Sam? <laughs> ah, <laughs> so this is what Rebecca is currently working on. Who else gets Jessica Rabbit vibes? Ah, that's what you're thinking. Well, there you go, you're portraying it because that's what I said straight away. <laughs> It's looking really good. Okay, now I'm just going in the center with the concrete gray. Like so. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> I 
I'm just going back in Audrey and darkening up the outside just to give it a bit more definition because it kind of lost its depth. A little bit. I don't Caitlin, but I have every intention on buying them. I think I put them in my wish list ready to purchase. Let me check. I think I may have put them in my um do 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 do, do my list. I've been adding um, loads of new books in case you didn't know everyone um, you know the mythographic books they're actually making a spin-off series called mythagoria so they're like a cross between mythographic and beauty of horror um, they are due out august 2nd next year there's one coming out by fabiana atanasio and one by Alessandro Valdrighi, I want to say. Um, if you want to check them out, head on over to my wish list, and from there you'll be able to see them and sort of add them to your own wish lists, etc. Like I say in most of my live streams, this wish list that I link here is not for people to buy things for me off of it. It's literally for people to go and have a nosy and see what I'm adding because I'm always adding pre-orders and things coming out. So if you guys want to know what new books are coming out, frequently check my wish list because they'll be in there. Uh, the new Disney books that are coming out are already in there. They come out in January next year. Ba 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 ba. I think I might have put them in my um, stocking filler wish list for my hubby <laughs> to buy for me. Um, Yep, yeah, I put them in there. <laughs> Let's move them out of there and put them back in my normal list so people can find them easier. Dee -dee 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 -dee. There we go. They're back in my normal wish list now. So you can uh, go check them out. I'm not sure if those ones will be up my alley, but they are pretty cool looking. What the Mythagoria ones, I can't wait for them to come out. I've got them saved, saved for later in my basket our oh, order you should see the amount of stuff in my save for later basket it's actually ridiculous <laughs> it's like one of these days i'll get round to buying everything in my saved for later I'm 
I'm sure I'm not the only one that has a, a save for later basket that's longer than their wish list. <laughs> Welcome back, Lynn. Okay, so that's our fireplace part done. Shall we do the doorknob and the letterbox this colour as well? I'm going to do the archway over the door first. Sun and dad in law, father in law. Daughter-in-law, son and daughter-in-law. Had to work that one out then. <laughs> Usually give me a works voucher. I've asked for Amazon this year. Oh, I don't blame you. <laughs> Can't go wrong with an Amazon voucher. So if you do check out this artist on Instagram... He actually does his drawings on watercolour cardstock and I really wish um, and hope that he'll kind of bring bring these books out in watercolour cardstock because, oh, I would be all over that. Even if, like, you know, we had to pay more of a premium to get the... The decent paper I would so be there <laughs> I do believe it's raining again I can hear it pitter pattering on the window hi Denise welcome Oh, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for joining. How are you this evening or day wherever you are in the world? I'm going to give that a bit more depth by making it darker around the edge. I can't believe you got that book for a pound. That was awesome. Have you picked a page in there that you really like, Sam? I'm hoping to go into that book after Christmas. Ah, oh, you're in London. Wicked. You're not far from me. I'm in Swindon. We're just up the road from each other. <laughs> well, good evening and welcome to the channel. Sam got, yeah, Sam got the new Lulu Mayo book, the um, Mythical Creatures, is it called? Like I was waiting for that book to come into my works for flipping weeks because I refused to pay the extra £3 on Amazon 
and I was checking, I checked the Birmingham store, I checked my Swindon stores, I checked Peterborough store and none of them had that Lulu Mayo book in. And just when I was giving up hope, Amazon reduced it by £3 and I bought it. <laughs> and then Sam goes into the works the first time and buys it and gets it for a quid. So not fair. Okay, Rebecca, no worries. <laughs> I'll try not to. Okay, and I'm going to do the letterbox the same as well. So I'm going to start dark at the edges and then come in lighter towards the centre of the letterbox. If you haven't already as well, um, please could you give this video a thumbs up as it helps other people to find the channel. I can't remember the name lol but it was because I did my Christmas shopping and spent over £35. She goes, you can pick a book from that shelf for a pound so I picked the only colouring book. <laughs> I don't blame you. It just so happens to be Lulu Mayo's newest book. <laughs> uh, Sloths, Mermaids and Animals. Is that the animal one that I have, Audrey? The big one. I have Mermaids, Unicorns, Sloths. The big animal, like the world's cutest animal one. The A Million Christmas Cats, this one. Which technically isn't Lulu Mayo, but you know. And I also have the new Mythical Creatures one. And I've put the Llama one on my Christmas wish list. On my um, stocking filler wish list for hubby. Right, so I think we'll get a dark brown colour. And do our little mousy. So let's put these greys back. Uh, pewter grey, concrete grey in there, onyx black in there. Let's check my thing. So dark chocolate. Dark chocolate brown, um, espresso, cocoa, and coyote. And of course, hubby doesn't have all of his browns together. He has this with. Where is your coyote, hubby? Steve, what are you doing with your pencils, mate? Oh, there it is. It's right in front of me. <laughs> Duh. So that was dark chocolate as the darkest. Then espresso, 
then Coco, and then Coyote. She said it was a child's colouring book and said, oh, your kids will love that. <laughs> it really annoys me that they put the... Oh, the million cute animals. Yes, I have that one too, Audrey. Yeah, it really annoys me that they put Lulio Mayo's books in the kids' section because they're not for kids, they're for us grown-up kids. <laughs> uh, Lulu Mayo's hardcover book. Um, I don't have a hardcover one, but the big one that I have is this one. Lonely Planet Kids, the world's cutest animal colouring book. Because we were doing um, painting in it. We were doing this, which I still need to finish. I started that in July. Jeez. Need to get back in this book. But yeah, it's called The World's Cutest Animal Colouring Book. Oh, I didn't sharpen these two pencils. Eh. Okay, dark chocolate. Let's bring you in. Should we do the little face first? I'm not doing any fur technique, I'm literally just gonna colour it. I'm not the best at fur or hair, um, so I usually just colour it the same as all my other stuff. So I hope that's okay. Thanks for putting those colours up, Lynn. bit of dark brown by the eye here. Okay, and then we'll take our espresso. I made hubby a mocha earlier, he was very happy with me. <laughs> I made him a Malteser mocha. It was, I didn't have any coffee in mind because of my tummy already being a bit iffy. But, um, oh, the Malteser hot chocolate I made was so good. Oh my gosh, what a question. <laughs> uh, what is my favourite book to colour in? 
all time favourite or right now favourite? Oh my gosh, um, all time favourite colouring book. So like, should we go like top three? Um, that, that is a question. Uh, let's do it like, if I was stranded on a desert island, what would I take with me kind of colouring book? Um, I would probably take... A romantic country, so any of these romantic country books, because I love Eerie. Um, I would probably take my Nelco Nico with me, because if you haven't already seen it, I mean, look, I flipping love this double page I did. So, I would take this with me. That would keep me a lot of company. Um, and I would take... Probably my Rhapsody in the Forest by Konoko Igusa. Iguasa. Hi, Minnie! Yeah, no problem, hun. Lurk away. <laughs> so they're the three I would, like, take on a desert island with me. Kind of all-time favourites. But right now favourites... Oof. Um... Let's see... Anything by Coco Wire at the moment. So if I had to pick one, um, I would take this one right now. I would also take. One of Camellia Angel Cova's books. I'm not sure which one. <laughs> because they're all gorgeous. So I'll just pick one. Anything by Camellia Angel Cova. And... Oh my goodness me. I guess I would have to take a Disney book because it wouldn't be me if I didn't take a Disney book, would it? So let's pick this one because I haven't coloured in this one yet. Histoire Eternelle. <laughs> I would have to take something Disney with me. So, yep. Yeah. They are the books I would choose, but hopefully that will never happen and I won't be on a stranded desert island <laughs> because I can't be away from any of my books. It makes me very sad. Yeah, you did, Caitlin. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what was Sam saying up there? Um, I like Zoe doing late live shows. It keeps me company when up with pain. Oh, bless you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I feel the same, Sam. It helps distract me from what's going on. Oh, Betty. Love you. Yes, definitely, Betty. I've been suffering lately with back and knees. I'm sorry you guys are in pain. 
I love romantic countries done in toothpicks. Yeah, I really, really, really want to get her heritage one, the world Her heritage one, and the fairy tale one when I can get my hands on them. Great stash of favourites. That Disney book looks lovely. I know. I mean, I just picked that one because I haven't coloured in it yet, but I have so many gorgeous Disney books. I wouldn't wouldn't know which one to take with me. <laughs> okay, so going on to Coco Brown. Let's try and get a bit more of this little mousy done. What ones would you take, Caitlin? I'll put you on back on the spot. <laughs> what books would you take with you? My dad tried binning my books. I threatened to kick him out first, definitely. <laughs> Rebecca, you just missed. Um, Caitlin put me on the spot and said, what books would I take to a desert island with me? I'm not sure if you heard my choices or not. I've got a question for all of you. What book this is this is a question I'm asking all of you. What book is at the top of your wish list right now? If you could buy one book right this second, what would it be? Doesn't matter on budget or anything. Like if you had the money right now, what is at the top of your wish list to buy? Um, the pencils I'm currently using for this project, Denise, these are the Arteza watercolour pencils, um, the 120 set, but you can use the normal Arteza pencils as well, the non-watercolour, because all the colours are the same. Um, okay, so all-time favourites, I picked three if I was going on a desert island. I picked um, Kanoko Agusa's Rhapsody in the Forest because I know it would take me ages to colour it. Um, Nelko Nico because you know how much I love that book. And any of the romantic country books or any book by Eerie, really. And then right now favourites, I picked any of Coco Wyo's, any of Camellia Angel Covers and any Disney book. <laughs> Is that worlds within worlds, Denise, or worlds of wonder? You're welcome. Hanlin's new book or Rita Berman's Europe book? 
if we are talking Amazon, if anywhere, the fairy tale book by Eerie. Yeah, anywhere. Clara Markova's magic one. I think Clara Markova's releasing a new one. I think I heard right the other day someone say that. Not that, you know, us UK peeps are going to really stand a look in unless we shell out like a hundred pound for a book. <laughs> would have to be pretty spectacular for me to shell out the money for it. I love her books, but I can't justify spending all that. Thank you. <laughs> I love them all, lol, but favourites right now have to be The Wee Wicked's Book, Magical Dawn, Molly Harrison, Big Fantasy Colouring Book, Teacup Fairies and Friends. Nice variety. I like it. We Wicked's, that sounds like a Carla Magana. Am I right? I think that's a Carla Magana. The first eerie. What, the first romantic country, Audrey? I do believe that one's on Amazon. I don't have that one yet either. <laughs> I have number two and three, but I don't have number one. How weird is that? Hannah Carl's on Magical Dawn or Camilla de Erico's Cute and Creepy. Ah, interesting. Kirby Roseanne's World, Worlds Within Worlds. That's such a nice book, Denise. Then again, I think Ink House is my top wanted book. Oh, you have the second uh, Romantic Country, Audrey. So, espresso. If I was to pick a, a book that's at the top of my wish list right now that isn't even out, it would be the new um, Draw a Lovely You book two. Because I know as soon as I see it, I'm going to want it. <laughs> And I have already asked the um, lady on Etsy whether she can get it when it's released and keep a copy aside for me. Because I know I'm going to need that book and I haven't even seen it. Yes, there's three romantic country ones, yep, yeah. and then there's World Heritage and Fairy Tale. I would like Herb Leonard Dragon Nouveau. Yes, Rebecca. That is a nice one. I don't have that one either, but I like Herb Leonard. I'm just too scared to colour his pictures in because I don't want to ruin them. I'm 
going to keep the feet and not colour them in brown. I want to colour those in sort of a browny pinky colour. And the same with the tail. I'm going to colour that the same colour as the feet. Which book do I mean, Zoe? Oh, the Draw a Lovely You one. The... Da, 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 I need to find it. Um, I have so many books scattered around me, it's impossible to find anything. Um, da -dum -dum -dum. Where is that beautiful book? Hmm. Where, oh, where is that book? I thought it was on here, but it's not. And it's not on my completed pages pile. Oh, have I found it? I may have found it. It's hiding. Yep, I found it. This one. This is the top of my wish list, the second one of this, and it's not even out yet because it's beautiful. I've only done one in here so far. I need to come in here and do this Christmas one because, yep. Where's the one I've done? Oh, there. I did this one. <laughs> I think that's the only Christmassy one in here, right? That one's a Christmassy one too. Well, wintry. So, yep. Yeah. This would be the book that's at the top, top of my list. But it's not out yet. Yes, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> okay, I think I did espresso. Maybe I didn't. Espresso cocoa. And coyote. In that book, Audrey, in Draw a Lovely You, do you have that book? If so, I, you need to tag me in that page on Instagram. I would love to see what you did. Okay, let's activate our little mousy. Oh, the eerie one. Don't forget the ears. Thank you, Lynn. <laughs> I 
See, this is why I have Miss Lynn. Um, Coco. And Coyote. What, which page did you do in the eerie one, um, Audrey? And did you do it with pencil? I don't know whether I've used pencil in my eerie books. I always paint in them. <laughs> Let's activate this. Oh, thank you, Denise. <laughs> I try and I, you know, I try and keep it nice and relaxing and just somewhere to chill. Minnie, are you still here, hun? Are you still lurking? I was going to ask you a question. Normally I'm being naughty and Zoe tells me off. <laughs> well, I have to keep you in order. You know, I can't have you, you know, running amok. <laughs> wonder if Minnie's still here. Love potion with prismas. Made a mess of the background though. Try to use ink pad with a brush while wow, you're brave. <laughs> you are very brave. Me and ink pads don't see eye to eye. <laughs> I have not mastered ink pads. Oh, hi, um, Minnie. Right. Um, are you live streaming Thursday night, hun? I told these guys earlier, I was like, I'm not streaming Thursday night because Minnie's streaming and I'll be in her live stream. <laughs> okay, Lynn, take care. Thank you for modding and being here. And I'm going to head off soon myself. I think I'm just going to do these pink bits and then call it a night. So, yeah, thank you so much for coming, Lynn. Thank you. Right. Um, I think I'm done with these browns. Um, yeah, I might be about during the day, Lynn. I will see what happens. Okay, dark chocolate, espresso, and cocoa go in there. And then for some reason, he had coyote down here. 
Hurry up with the pink so I can share them. Yes, boss. <laughs> yes, boss. Um, okay, coral. Got to find them first. Coral. Um, apricot. Apricot. Where are you? There. And peaches and cream. Apric uh, coral, apricot, and peaches and cream. I'm seeing in Encanto on Thursday, but the plan is to stream that night. Will it be your usual stream time, Rach? Oh, argue away with Amazon, hun. You tell them my book is not here and you give me a new one, damn it. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Lynn. <laughs> Right, coral. They are saying, no, it's been delivered. Yeah, it has been delivered, but not to yours. Now give me a new book, damn it. Yeah, if not, it will be an hour late at most, and I'll still do the two hours either way. So, what, I think your usual time's seven, is it? Or eight? I'm really happy with my choice for this um, ear colour and whatnot. It's really cute. <laughs> What colour were you thinking for the wall at the back, Audrey?
no idea. Hadn't thought that far ahead. <laughs> and customer service sometimes can be so flipping stupid there we go how cute is that little fella so adorable I wonder what the designer did the col these colours. I wonder if I can find it. Let's see. This is Morgan O'Brien. Morgan O'Brien Art. So this is his Instagram. If any of you want to go check it out. Let's see if he's coloured the one with the cookies. So here's like an example of the manger one. So cute. Um, is that the one on the cover? Yeah. Here's the one with the Christmas tree. So adorable. few Animal Crossing friends look. He's done Animal Crossing paintings as well. Eek. Here's the little um, felt mice that I was referring to. How cute is that? I want one. <laughs> I need to say to him, where do you get your felt mice from? Because I need one. How freaking cute. Um, doo -doo -doo. There's another one coloured, the one of the candy cane. No, it doesn't look like he's coloured the cookie one. That's a shame, I was going to see what colours he'd used. There's another Animal Crossing one. <laughs> And these are the other two books that he has out for anyone interested. The Autumn and the Halloween. Never knew you could do what, Audrey? One person even said it's only £5, don't worry about it. Uh, it's a birthday present and was all she could afford. So yes, I want my book. Exactly. That's no one's place to say uh, it's only £5. To some people, five pounds is a lot of money. Um, shall we do the wormy the same colour? I think we should.
Oh, you're back again, are you? <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, the spammer's always back. <laughs> Not for long. There we go. Oh, yeah, you can, Audrey. Yeah, definitely. Instagram is a very wonderful place. <laughs> Earthworm Jim. <laughs> That's what this worm reminds me of. Earthworm Jim. I missed Mousy's bit of leg, lol. <laughs> What, for the, the background, Rebecca? Terracotta could work, yeah. Nice earthy colour. What colour am I doing the nose? Black, I think. Black. Oh, bless you, Audrey. <laughs> what colour has he done the nose? Oh, he's done it the same colour as the ears and the... Should we do it the same colour? Let's go for it. There we go. Cute. There we go. So, do you want me to finish this page off on another live stream? Um, or maybe I could finish it off on like a colour and chat or something. Um, I'll go ahead and pick the colours for the wall. So, I'll give you some homework to do. <laughs> so, for the wall, I'm going to write this down myself so I don't forget. Let's do Sienna Brown as the darkest. And I will type this up in chat for you. Sienna Brown. Then Passion Fruit. And then Apricot. And Peaches and Cream. And that's for the wall. Oh, 
I quite like your idea of the uh, terracotta, Rebecca. Hmm. Or shall we go more orangey? Mm. I'm going to let you guys decide. I am going to show you the um, the screen and let you guys decide. No names were mentioned, but was watching a video where she showed off her birthday presents from her hubby that cost a fortune. I unsubscribed because she was bragging. Mm. Can be taken different ways, Denise. Um, I personally on this channel show lots of things that I buy and that my hubby buys as well. Um, and I'm by no means bragging. I'm just sharing what I've been lucky enough to receive from my other half and from my loved ones at Christmas etc so it's not always people bragging sometimes it can come across that way um, but I think I know the person you're referring to um, I don't think she was bragging but that's just my opinion. So going back to the colours, I'm going to let you guys decide. I am using Rebecca's chart. Not Rebecca, you're Rebecca. We can use this one, which is the one I initially picked. This one here. Sienna Brown Passion Fruit Apricot Peaches and Cream. Or what about that one? Honey, marmalade, coral and burnt ochre. What do you guys think? I'm torn between the two, so it's either this one or this one. Oops, that's my light. You don't want to see my light. There we go. We're talking full Copic pen set, 1,500. Prada jeans, etc. Um, not sure if it's the same person I'm thinking of then. But, I mean, I could be wrong. Maybe she was bragging, but... Um... If you see me sharing lots of things on here that I received for Christmas and stuff, please don't think I'm bragging because I'm not. <laughs> uh, da -da -da. Okay, you'd like to see me finish it, no problem. Where would passion fruit be? So passion fruit is after the Sienna Brown. Audrey. Um, Rebecca thinks the honey, marmalade, coral and burnt ochre. The honey one? Yep, no problem. So we'll scrap that one. And we'll go for burnt ochre. Coral. Marmalade and honey. Okay. So that is your homework, Miss Audrey. <laughs> Choose.
to colour the background. So if I do another live stream, um, I'm not sure when it will be, but you will see it scheduled as the same as all my other live streams. Um, we'll finish this off before we start our new page, if that's okay with you guys. So let me put these in chat. So we've got burn ochre, <clears throat> coral. My voice is going now. It's saying, come on, time to leave. <laughs> Marmalade <clears throat> and honey. So those are the colours for the wall. And we will leave it there for this evening. My desk area is an absolute car crash. Oh, my days. <clears throat> um, I don't know where these go, hubby. I'm sorry. Pretty sure they came out of here somewhere, so that's where they're going to go. There we go. That looks right. <laughs> It'll do. You're welcome. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, let's see. What day did I say? <clears throat> oh, no problem. Yay, Sam! Yay! <laughs> yep, if anyone would like to buy this book, as mentioned before, it's linked up above and in the description below. So go check it out. And don't forget to tag me in your finished pages on Instagram because I love to see them. Just tag me in them at Addicted to Colouring and... I will like and comment on them. Yay. Okay, so be sure to look out on my channel for that um, scheduled video. And uh, we'll finish this little fella off on our next live stream. I've really enjoyed it too, Audrey. I love when um, people pick the colours. Because I would usually sort of stick to my same colour palette that I always use on most pages so when people pick them out for me it, it really sort of pushes me out of my comfort zone okay well I ended up doing longer than the two hours I don't quite know how that happened but <laughs> okay Denise <laughs> Yeah, I, I I do share a lot of stuff on this channel, so just a pre-warning. <laughs> You're welcome, Rebecca. Thank you to everyone for joining. I hope you have a lovely rest of your evening. And I will see you in the next live stream. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Happy colouring. <laughs>